going to turn now <laughs> to money. It's Money Monday, and this one is for all the folks out there. You have a dream. You want to start up a new business or a side hustle this year. How do you do it? Well, in order to help us understand how to survive a startup in 2021, well, we brought in a shark. That's right. <laughs> Joining us now is entrepreneur and one of the stars of ABC's very own Shark Tank, Damon John. Damon, thanks for being with us. And yes, we know that these past 18 months have hit a lot of people hard in the wallet. So if you are thinking about getting that side hustle started or creating a startup, what's your number one most important piece of advice? Uh, thanks, Amy and TJ. Listen, um, the number one is it's a side hustle. That means I don't care what all that stuff you hear out there. Do not quit your day job. You're going to need your day job to, to pay the bills, to, to you know keep the lights on in the house, and you're also going to be able to extend the amount of time and energy you invest in the business because you're not going to be as financially stressed. I worked at Red Lobster for five years as I started my company, FUBU. Wow. I, I worked cool. at Red Lobster for a year and a half in college. I did not start up anything that was as successful <laughs> as FUBU in the I, meantime. I needed to run my business. I need, I was taking all the shrimp home at night. Oh, wow. I was having great medical benefits, and I was using other waiters and waitresses on the weekend at <laughs> flea markets. Look at that. Did you have the shirt? with? The, okay, we can talk about that later. Uh, look here. Let's go back to the startup <laughs> businesses here. What's something you learned along the way? This is a no-brainer seemingly. We think we understand it, but maybe not. Interest. Interest, you gotta know how money works. Listen, here's the thing they say about interest. If you don't know about interest, you're gonna always pay it. And you know about interest, you're always going to earn it. Uh, money is critical and running a business is serious. And this is the only two ways that you run a business. You either uh, decrease costs or you increase sales. And interest is that small thing that you can either benefit off of or it can hurt you because we know a lot of people in debt who are not running the businesses and or their personal life the right way due to interest and what they think is small, but over, a course of period of time, it's a lot. Well, and if you're starting off with, with very little funds, you talk about this thing called OPM, and when I first saw that, I thought that was other people's money. But um, while that might be great too, <laughs> OPM to you stands for something else. OPM is everything else but other people's money. See, it's other people's mind power, manufacturing, manpower, marketing. That's how you see people do collabos or affiliates. You know somebody that has a large audience, but you have a product. You then work with them and give them maybe 10, 15% of the product you sell, but they've now introduced you to a much larger audience because they already had 10,000 or a million people on Instagram or another business that complements yours. OPM is often other people's money, mind power, marketing, or manufacturing. And look, Look, man, the folks are, are, are listening, taking notes. They might go back and listen to this later. Um, but they're going to try to get a plan together, possibly, um, that could they put into to the works a week from now, a month from now, and start implementing. But there is something you're saying they can do right now, this moment, today, to get the ball rolling. What is that? Well, once they put their plan together, their business, they got to put it out to the world. A lot of us just don't, you know, follow the Nike saying of just do it. They don't jump. You see, I stood on a corner, 1989, uh, Good Friday, and in one hour, I sold $800 worth of hats that I made at home. My buddy David from Bomba Socks, he looked into his emails. He realized he had sent out 50,000 emails over the course of his time. So you know what he did? He sent out to everybody, hey, I'm coming up with an idea called Bomba Socks. I want to give a pair away to everybody that, uh, you know, every time I I sell a pair of socks, I want to give a pair away. 20% of the people said, who are you? Why are you emailing me? Another couple of people said, I'm your ex-girlfriend. Why are you emailing me? <laughs> Another couple of people said, I don't like you. But the rest were like, it's interesting. I want to do this. Hey, I'm going to support you. And he just started. you got to just start and put it out into the universe. You cannot believe how many people want to support you and say, I'm with you. Let's do this. That is some fantastic advice. We always get fantastic advice from you, my man. Damon John, it's always good to see you. We appreciate having you here on the show. We're going to see you down the road, all right? Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having me. That's good advice. Were you thinking about that email list? Would you would you just send a blanket email to everybody in your inbox right now? That's bold. Sounds like something you got to do if you want to get it done. <laughs> no way. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.